Okay, the Great Sphinx is a key to the Giza Plateau. It's part of the unified plan that's plainly there. Okay, so let's circle these giants with touching the corners of the Mankara satellite, Khufu's northeast corner and his satellite. It goes right through the center of the Sphinx, showing that the Sphinx is part of this plan. So you can see it touches the corners of these pyramids. And the Sphinx is right there. The Sphinx is the entry point. He's the key to getting in. He's the key to the secrets in Giza. All right, so the Sphinx key. So let's look at the circumference of his head around his forehead. And when we do that, we're told that that's 103 feet, about 103 feet. Okay. So let's take that 103 feet, the forehead, and it's uh, 60 royal cubits. And if you do it in meters, it's 31.41, which is 10 times pi. And another interesting thing about the diameter formed from a circumference of that size is that it's an even number in royal cubits, about 19 royal cubits. It's an even number in meters, 10 royal meters. That doesn't often happen. Another interesting key there. Okay, the length of the Sphinx. It's the same as the boat pits, uh, the distance between the boat pits on the Great Pyramid. It's 73.3 meters which is 140 royal cubits. Okay, so since that's a diameter, we multiply that times pi to get our circumference, which ends up being 230.3 meters or 440 royal cubits. And so interesting and amazing showing the connection of the Great Sphinx and Giza. That is the length of the side of the Great Pyramid, 440 royal cubits. So the Sphinx is channeling the Great Pyramid. So, we're being called to transformation. A line or a diameter is turned into a circle, symbolizing eternity through the transformative power of pi. The Sphinx is the key.